Okay, welcome back to the channel. I've got my other old camera out. It's the trusty one that doesn't overheat when it's hot. Um, Brandy, what are you doing? Are you going to fill I'm it up? Fill it. All right, you're going to top it up. Um, we're getting all the chores done um, and doing extra stuff because I'm going out of town for a few days. I think it'd be easier with that scoop. I think it'd be easier with that scoop. Okay. Because it doesn't have like a funnel. It's okay if you get some on the ground because it'll scratch at it. Oh. So we just threw the flakes on the ground. They'll scratch it and they'll spread it all out. Um, we got two broody hens that are trying to lay in the same one. We just went ahead and got rid of the eggs because they're real nasty and dirty. Um, put new fresh uh, straw bedding in all of them. And yesterday, me and the girls uh, set up two water feeders and two uh, feeders. And Brandy's going to go ahead and top them off with the feed. <coughs> That's a little over 50 pounds now. And uh, that should last while I'm gone. Um, Brandy and the girls can just keep an eye on over the next few days. But so it's good. For the chickens, we're just going to check their water and check eggs. Yeah, you just basically check the eggs because this water and feeder is going to last. We'll leave this one alone so maybe we can yeah, have some chicks. You can, we can let, we're going to let that back one be broody once they start laying some more eggs in there. And we can actually, Brandon, you can actually move eggs into it tomorrow if you want. Oh, okay. So you can see, you guys have not seen um, Bobby in a few days. What you doing, Bobby? He is getting along awesome with everybody. If I can get zoomed in over there. There's Bobby. Bobby, they haven't got to see you in a few days. If I can get the lighting right with the camera. I think, hey, Mary, Mary. I think Mary's saying, hey, he's not a turkey. Yeah, Mary don't know what's going on still. Really but those are the two ladies back there. They're just itching to get back in there laying on eggs. The eggs that you just stole from they them. They sit on top of each other pretty much. Look at It's her. like it's a battle to get in there. Look at them. Now we're keeping them all um, locked up for probably a week or so just for Bobby's sake. Um, they got plenty of room in here. And then we'll open this up and let them have their run back again soon. Oh, did she go in there? What she did? Well, are you just thinking he letting needs to, he them? Needs to know where... Well, I know about him, but I'm saying letting them in and out could be the chance of him coming no, out. for sure, yeah. So we need the ladies to come back in here and roost at night. So we can't let them just free yeah. range because they'll go all over the place and roost in trees and then get well, eaten. Well, and we can't, obviously we can't leave it open because yeah. he would come out. And they're not like a dog. You can't really just yeah. herd them into their coop yep. very easily. This is a completely shaded area um, with the tarp and plus all the oak trees around. So this stays nice and cool even when it's 95 out. And there's a breeze. Yeah, there's a nice here. breeze going. Even Bobby's interested in there. So they'll scratch around. You, on in, in chicken pens, you don't have to spread it all out. They'll do that for you. They're just curious and they like to scratch. And uh, so by tomorrow, they'll have this all scratched nice looking over there. Huh, Sue? Sue, you're so pretty. Oh, Sue. And you're not uh, supposed to be uh, roosting on that. You're going to get poop Little on lady. It. Get out of there. You're going to get poop on what it. What are you doing, little weirdo? She's like, my head won't reach. Oh, she found out. Okay, so the chickens are good, Brandy. Bobby's doing good. Mary's doing good. We'll just Sue. make sure, like you said, they don't dump their water, which. Yeah, they sure. won't. They're completely full. It's 10 gallons of water, um, 50 pounds of feed. So the time you guys see this video, I'll be home ready. I'm traveling um, out, out to California for a few days um, to a conference, and um, we'll talk about that in an, another video. Uh, but I need to walk through. I haven't I haven't left Brandy and the girls here alone um, to attend everything because it's a lot of work keeping up with everything being off grid like we are. Um, just the generator alone's work, um, especially the way we're doing it with five gallon jugs of fuel. So I'm, I'm gonna go get a, 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 a drum today, fill it up with enough um, fuel to last while I'm gone. Um, I'll have to, I'm gonna show Brandy how to do the water cause she, her and the girls really haven't had to do anything cause I'm always here to do everything. Um, so she's gonna be here alone for a few days with the girls and she needs to learn everything. Or if I ever get sick or something like that, and you know, she can go do it and um, take the load off of me. And um, yeah, so we're gonna show you guys that. We're gonna do, do a little, what would you call this today, Randy? What, what would this be? Um, uh, a day in the life. A day in the life. Yeah, but it's a tutorial. Like a me. tutorial for Randy. Um, the day in life off grid homesteaders. Um, yeah, so we've been out here, what, two, three months now? Three months? When we actually. June, July? I don't know when we actually lived July here. 1st. July. Yeah, yeah, July. July 2nd. July 1st, it's we was July. out here. August, September, almost three months. Almost three months. Well, when you see this, it'll be three yeah, months. three months exactly. It'll be three months exactly. We've been off grid, um, truly off grid. Um, we're not staying with family members, friends, nothing like that, hotel rooms. We are here full time. Now, if we occasionally, we do go travel somewhere, that's different. But as far as living out here, 100% all the time off grid, um, legit. Bobby's um, scratching at it. Bobby's scratching at it. Yeah. I, we really like Bobby. Um, he looks beautiful. Hey, let's look over here. We're going to go over here to the uh, pigs, Brandy. And Brandy, you should... Okay, you gonna grab them? 
she's gonna give these eggs to the pigs and some of them might might be stink because they've been sitting on them for a few days um so we'll, we'll give them to the pigs she can distract them while i fill that feeder up uh, and then we're gonna go to the generators and the waters and all that and then i actually need to go out to my um deer feeder where i put a camera up um the camera that wasn't working in a different spot now it's really working really well in this spot um so i need to go cut, cut some grass that's really tall i can't see the deer um but let's see if we can get them over here i saw you gave them fresh water huh? yesterday do what i saw you gave them fresh water yep, yesterday yep, it's full so me and the girls will just check and every just day it to off, make yeah. sure it's about right and i scooted and it close just, to the fence so you can just see oh, it and okay. squirt it in there and we just turn it on with the lever and then it's good yep. to go and we'll I'll, we'll discuss that in a minute because we'll have to show you how to do the generator oh, okay. and all that they're actually they're gonna come they're gonna come run over here brandy whenever i come the pond is looking nice and ripe that's pretty it gross goes back and forth. yeah it on the ground. Here, here, look. Look, look, right there, on the ground, on the ground. Down, buddy, down, look. You guys are stingy. Okay, it is completely full. Um, so like I said, that should last them three days and I'll be coming back on the fourth day. So they, Brandy and, sh and the girls shouldn't even have to get in there for anything. Um, so that's the beauty of having automatic feeders, waters and all that. Um, you can leave the homestead for a few days. Um, you can have people come check on your stuff, yeah. on your animals and stuff, but you could technically leave and they'd be okay. Um, so yeah, you guys should not have to get in there at all. I say the most we've ever been gone without having someone actually check on them is like two Over days. Over not two days, yeah, yeah. Not very long at all. Anything other than that, we'll have someone at least stop by. Yep. So we got, oh whoa, don't fall. Gosh. See it? Not, you have a nice trip? See you next fall. Yeah. <laughs> so it is officially fall here. And uh, it's starting, it's got cooler days and then it's got back up to, not, today's 95. Um, yesterday was 80. I'm like, it's just going up and down like this. It's crazy. Um, but. Brandon, I got some more chicken feet I'll put in there. I'm going to put another bag of chicken feet in there. And then we're going to walk over. And um, I'm going to show Brandy how the system works, the water system works. And then we'll jump back over to the generator and show her how to start that to pump water. So we have to start the generator <clears throat> to pump water over to our barrel, um, then to our camper, and then to the wash machine and all that. Um, so I'll go show her that process over there, how to do all that. Then we'll jump back over here. You guys are so cute when you swim. Lay back on your side. I don't have any more eggs. No more eggs. What? that noise <gasps> that's why your water gets dirty okay you can hear the uh, generator in the background obviously we'll go over that in just a second um, right now I'm gonna show you how to get water into our barrel the barrel if you guys don't know goes into a filtering system that gets out most of the sulfur smell 
and takes it into the camper. Hayden knows how to turn it on and off, yeah. but I don't think you really have to mess with I it. I mean, I've done it from here. I just wasn't, I just want to make sure the process of like. From there, okay. Yeah, to know like when each step is full and all that. Okay, so whenever we, we'll go to the generator next. We turn the generator on. This one right here, this. Okay, time out. If it starts. Do what? If, if we're in the shower or we're in the camper and it starts to sound like we're running out of water. Okay. The first step is to go to the generator and start okay. from there. Well, kind of. Let's, let's. Let's assume that red barrel's full of water, which it usually is all the time. I know you do that little lever. Okay, so come over here. Yep, come over here. If it's full, so I keep the yes, I keep this full at all times. So if this water runs out, all Brandy has to do. Or hold on, before you do that, it is going to leak some because I need to change the filter out. So I've got it rigged up where it gets airflow in there and it still puts. So you'll see water come down right here. Mm -hmm. That's not normally normal, but it's okay for while I'm gone. So if the, you're out of the camper water, turn that. So if on. we're out of the camper. First, I would do this yep. just to make sure. That, that's gonna go through here and fill the camper back up. And then when that starts overflowing, I know the camper's it's full, full. Turn and that I off. turn this off. Yep, and then we'll go over there, turn but the generator on and fill this back up. That's my thing. I don't know that part. Yep. I guess once that starts overflowing, I'll just assume this needs to be yeah, filled Yeah, it's up. usually about, you can usually get uh, two fills with that, but since that's leaking, I would just, you know what I'm saying? I would just go so ahead and fill anytime, it back up. And this, how long does that take? Because I know you I watched know, you know out of the window. Out. Yeah, I just, I just come out and check it. So once I turn this on and that starts... So you can leave it on now to fill it back up because we've been using water But today. once we see that that's coming out, it means that tank's full. Yes. And so then I can turn that off, but then go turn on the generator to fill yep. that back up. So we're going to I'll show you the turn generator on. In my head to conserve water, just so we don't... The girls and I wouldn't have to do as much. I've already caught up on most of the laundry. Yeah. So they have stuff, we have stuff for all week that yeah, you'll be we good shouldn't really need to do, like, cause that's a lot of water for yeah. clothes. Yeah, so basically just showering dishes in here. Yeah. Um, so if this tank's out, Brandy, you're gonna come over here, see the green hose, brighter green hose. Yeah, just it look goes at that. To it. Yep. So all you have to do is turn this valve on right here. Which I know that goes. Hear it? Yeah. Yep. What about the other direction? Does it just go one way? Yeah, it's off right now. It just goes I one way. I know, but I mean, you can't turn it. No, it just this goes one way. way. No. Like, well, and that shows it flows yep. from that to that. That's what so we do at work right there. with cop, stop cops. Yep. You can actually turn that on, and we'll we'll finish filling it up. But when it's doing that, it's, it's not actually full till it starts to overflow. Yeah, or until you hear it not doing that, it means the water flows up there. But yeah, it's got to overflow and all that. And and if you need this other hose, this long hose that's over there. You just turn this valve on right here. It's turned off. It it's over there by the. But what would we need it for? Just like rinse your feet off or something, uh, whatever. You shouldn't need it. All time. I do. I just leave, I just leave it on because it goes right to the washer machine too. Like if you uh, did need it. So we'll walk over here and we'll show Brandy um, the new generator. It actually runs off propane and gas. Uh, Brandy's dad came over and f brought me brought us over. I think it's a 50 gallon. I think it's a 50 gallon um, propane tank. I think it could I be bigger. I talked to him about that last night. Oh, you, I didn't know what it was. Uh, so he went and got an adapter for it so it will fit our generator. So Brandy doesn't have to worry about filling this up with gas. I'm actually going to fill it up with the gas too, just in case that runs out. It shouldn't, um, but for some reason it did. She already have gas in there. Um, and this has an electric start, but it hasn't been working. I think I need to, I need to check the battery um, and see if it's a brand new battery. See what's going on with it. I have your dad come over and look at it while I'm gone. Uh, Cause electric starts just a button. She can sit. You guys can sit there from I the porch. Did it. Well, it did, but it's been messing up. Oh. Uh, so you just turn it on. But I'm gonna have to show you how to do it by the string, and well, it could be a little bit of a it's challenge. It's one of those things like the other generators. These things are pricey, so they need to be. Working I know. Yeah, I know. They... I think I just think it's the battery. Something to do with the battery. So I mean, other the whole thing works. It's just that. But I'm gonna show her how to uh, pull pull start it. Come over here. See where it says choke. What? See where that says choke. Yep. Get your finger, bring your finger down here and do this and choke it. Okay, that's off. All right, now you're choked. So then you're gonna make sure this button over here, come around over here. See this button right here? Yeah. That needs to be on. That's on, O is off. That's okay. on. Usually you could just push start it, but we're having battery issues, whatever. That's, you don't need to worry about that. Okay, so once you got the choke, you got on. The choke on, so I'm gonna have you test, test this too. You come over here and it's gonna be hard for you. Yeah. Okay, so it does that and turn choke off now. Okay. And just reach in there, reach in there, turn it off so you but know. But you already. I was running it earlier. Okay, now, now get down and pull it. Okay, but what is that doing? That's not doing anything. You turn choke off. Choke gives it more fuel to start. So you do, that wasn't supposed to start the first time or it was? It's hit and miss. 
If it doesn't, then you turn the choke on. So. Then you turn it on. Now, once you think it, it's going to start Do now. I put my foot there? Where Okay, so that's gonna be loud. Obviously, we got it running. Um, we got it running because we're gonna fill this tank up. And Brandon, I think you already have it on. The mister's already on. So basically, what you do once that fills up, starts overflowing, turn that off, and then just go turn the generator off. So right now, do what? I mean, I guess you just don't really know. I'm trying to think. Okay, there's only a little this, bit of water in this that tank. Is, this is hooked up to the well, this water You'll never line. have to mess with that unless you I want know. to get your feet off. But I'm just saying, we don't know if that's full till it starts overflowing. Yeah. So. Yep. So once that starts, because that little tank is a reserve tank, it'll run, it'll only go like a third up and you run well, it dry. Well, when we turned this on initially, was it just that there was potentially some, there was some in, in the, 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 the tank, tank full already? Over there. Now we're filling up that and then it goes yeah. to this. I'm saying once once we see this start overflowing. Just turn that little first, valve off. Once I see that come out of the camper, I'm gonna turn that little switch. Yep. Once I see this overflowing, I'm gonna turn this off, turn off the generator, but keep this on. Yeah, don't don't even jet don't yeah. just pay no pay no attention to that at all because you don't even need that. Okay. You, all, basically all you gotta do is turn that little switch down there. Yeah, and go and turn the there. generator. That's it, yeah. Okay. okay, so that's all we got right now. Um, we'll wait for this to fill and see it's already overflowing. Because well, it was almost full already. It will, but you don't need to. That's the overflow. So, so go ahead and turn it off. She turned it off right there. You can see it's overflowing like she was talking about. I kind of like the overflow because the dogs always have a yeah, fresh little bag. Yeah, exactly. That's why I put that there so they have clean they water. They always have clean water. So now go, now go turn your generator off. Okay, I'm picking up stuff as I walk. But Gracie gets out. This probably isn't very interesting to you guys, um, but we I wanted to put, make a video for you all um, while I was gone. Now I'm back, obviously. Uh, or I will be back when you watch this um, give you guys a heads up that way when I get back then I'll have some footage of when I'm gone to be able to show you um, she's gonna turn that off then we'll go back over to the big generator hey turn that switch off and then when it dies turn it back on okay we're to the main generator it's gonna be built a little bit louder obviously um, but all she has to do here is unscrew this and fill it up so I'm actually gonna go to town and get a bigger jug for her to pump I got a pump a hand pump battery operated that she can just unscrew the cap and fill it up all you gotta do is fill that up You'll have to show me. yeah i'll show you when i get i gotta go go town but other than that the dog got two buckets of five gallon buckets of water plenty of food so they're they're ready to go for when i'm Let's gone are you gonna go out there with me to weed eat that uh so as far as the t water tanks you don't have to worry about the black tank. I just dumped it yesterday. It's good for three weeks. Oh, I do need to see sometimes the sink or the tub. You know, you know how to do that, don't no. you? Oh, you don't? Okay. I mean, they we learned about it when we got the camper, but you I haven't done it done at all. It. So you will have to dump that. So we'll walk over there and I'll show her the two valves open for the gray water. We, and I just run the gray water out on the ground. Um, the black water is already taken care of. So like I said, that's good for three weeks. So you ain't got to worry about that. But these are open now. All you do is, those are the two that drain the water. Just those two. That's the black one up in there. You ain't messing with that. Hold on. I don't want to show you that. Okay, it's closed. Yeah. So if it gets full, mm -hmm. you just open them up. But the black one's closed. Don't worry closed. about the black one. The so black it's, one's completely closed. And that's the thing they told us. They just can't be open at the same time, uh -huh. right? So you just open those up and it drains it. That's and then do I close it back? Or yep, whenever you're done. Okay, that's all there is to it. Um, it probably didn't seem like a lot to some. Some it may seem a lot. Um, but that's the stuff I do every single day. Um, that I take the burden off the family on the move them out here off grid uh, for this lifestyle and um, so far three months in and I don't have any regrets at all um, everything's been working out great for us we know we're gonna have setbacks on the house and all that um, hey um, it's gonna be the 30th when they watch this tomorrow mm -hmm. is when we come over tomorrow is when we're doing the um, tickets right Tell them so all about the, the Oki homesteading expo that we're gonna have here in Prior Oklahoma um, the expo itself is Saturday, March 19th, but there is a whole hog butchering class on the Thursday and Friday. All three days tickets go on sale Friday, October 1st at noon, and that's Central Standard Time. They'll see this Thursday. Yeah. So tomorrow when you at noon. At noon. Set yourself a little timer. But noon, that should be fine. No matter your time zone, it might be a little bit earlier, a little bit later, but noon should be good for everyone. Tickets are cheaper. Yeah, you for the expo day tickets are going to be fifteen dollars where if you get them at the door they're 20 so it just and saves you a little bit we're going to be shutting that off before yeah the um the online 15 dollars tickets they're not going to be available forever we're going to cap that at some point and so i would say yeah. it's better to get them sooner than later if you know for sure if you're going to go might as well just order them now yeah. 
Um, and because we don't know exactly when we're going to cap it. Yeah, but we're we definitely going to do it. it at a certain date, or we might even, if we, we might do a certain number of tickets. Yeah. We're just going to kind of play that big by ear. So, okiehomesteading.com? Yes, go to okiehomesteading.com. The tickets, if you see right now that they say sold out, don't panic. Tomorrow at noon, it will be available. Yep. So, they just say sold out now because they're not available. And um, if they do get to get in on the $15, uh-huh or $15, 15. The 15 tickets for Thursday. Mm-hmm. They get a free t-shirt. Yeah, the um, Thursday, um, Rachel put it all in the description for you. So you can go ahead and go over and check it out before they're on sale. That way you'll know what the price is and to make sure it's something that you want to do. But for the Thursday day, you're going to get to come all three days. You're going to get a free t-shirt, free breakfast, free lunch, get to and, hang out and with we all say, of when us. When we say free, obviously they're paying it's three hundred dollar ticket. Well, yes, yes, it's, it's, it's included, included in the yes. ticket. You're going to get breakfast, lunch, hang out with all of us all day, get to do all that fun stuff, and get a t-shirt. And your Thursday. Friday and Saturday tickets yep. are covered. And Friday is a hundred dollars. Yes, Friday is a hundred dollar tickets. It's for eight to five whole hog butchering class, and then it will also get you into the expo the next day. On Saturday, the kids seventeen and under are free. But reason the reason for the full price on the first two days, the first day, it's, I mean, people are paying $300 for a ticket. And so we want to limit that to everyone who's super interested in learning. I guess if you pay $300 for your 10-year-old, that's fine. But they're probably not going to be, it's probably not going to be worth your money for a 10-year-old to sit there and, you know, stay entertained with that all day. And same thing on Friday. The tickets are $100. If you want to bring kids with you, that's fine. But it is an all-day class. So I would it's just fine keep, if they buy a ticket. Yeah, it's fine if you buy a ticket. But I would just keep that in mind that it's probably not something that a kid under 13, 14, 15 is going to be super interested in being there all day. So another reason, too, is because we we, we have to keep these, um, these classes small. Yes. Um, so if we allow 100 people to come and then bring their kids, too, there's potential 400 people there. Yeah, and that's even... I didn't think of that point. If he was to be... A person who wanted to come buy a ticket but then he's like okay i spent my 300 dollars, but i'm bringing my three kids with me that defeats the purpose of having 15 people yeah because that just escalates so you know? usually um andy and doug they usually don't do this Groups um they've this yes no not even close they make exception for us after talking to them and all that um 15 is actually a, a bigger class yeah. for them um just for the thursday and then friday i don't think they've really ever it done sound that like they've done something um, like that so that's the that's another one of the main reasons why um, kids aren't free like if you have to have everyone has to have a ticket to get in just to keep yeah. the number down on the attendees because they're, doing they're usually small yes they're usually doing smaller mm-hmm. groups in this uh, so well, hope you guys understand all right with that being said let's go do the um weeding want to i got flip flops on that's right all weeded you can watch me okay Okay, that's all there was to it. We got it all clear where I can actually see the deer now. Um, yesterday, last night I got a picture. One was actually licking this molasses I poured on the stump. See all this, Randy? Uh-huh. That's not motor oil, it's molasses. Oh, I saw someone comment. They were just kind of asking why that technique, because I guess you can put it in the feed. But to yep. me, that's like, that's their more natural like habitat. They would just go check it out. And Yep, it's more like a salt, like a lick. Uh, if I yeah. put it in the feed and get the feeder all plugged up. Well, I, I didn't know. I was trying to, I can't remember if I read, maybe it's like the flavor they have in yeah. the feed or something. Yep, and this, um, you put it on an old stump or a tree that's rotten, and it's just a natural, and they'll just dig at it. And hey, Lily, Lily's come to check it Lily, out. Lily, you better get back in there. So when we come out here, I usually don't bring the dogs. So I don't want their scent out here, but it's, it's okay. Oh, Lily, Lily, come on. Um, the German Shepherds, definitely, we put them up anytime we're hunting or coming out here um, because we don't want them following us. 
Brandy, you think you can handle this, uh, the fort on your own? Yep. Oh, <laughs> you sound pretty confident. No, every time you've left, something in times past, something has happened. Like uh, goats having babies. Goat had babies for the first time. You went on a mission trip. I locked myself out of our Tahoe with it running. So I'm, I don't even remember how that happened. It's always something. That's all we got for you guys today. It's kind of like the day in the life of, kind of just wanted to give you the rundown of teaching Brandy the ropes of the homestead. Um, and uh, yeah, I think it's all we got. Well, it's good to know just on a normal basis. Like, yeah. like I haven't had to do a lot of it. And then the last, like, feels like a month, I was just sickly. And so yeah. he really feeling, hasn't had me do any of it. Feeling better now? Yes. And so she needs to get rested up because when I get back, we get to start building the house. Yeah. Hopefully, um, time you guys see this, the house pad will be done. Um, so you'll have to be filming that while I'm gone. Yeah, but you're not. So I'll film some, but you're not going to show it till. Yeah, they won't. Back. They won't see it until the, yeah. probably the next video. So hopefully, they get it done. Everything goes as planned. We're supposed to pour tomorrow. Won't be here, um, but hopefully they do. She can record some for you guys. Hopefully, I push record. Send me some pictures. Hopefully, I didn't confuse you on the Oki Homesteading Expo, but if you have any questions, just look on our Facebook page, Instagram, or the website has the YouTube, most information. YouTube channel. Yes, and a YouTube channel tells all the um, speakers we're going to have, and then you can get links to their own channel so you can check them out ahead of time. That's all we got for you guys today. Love you all. Thank you. Catch you on the next video. Thank you.